I just wonder too, I mean, how come um, everybody I know of that went to college is a Biden supporter? Yeah. And I don't understand how everybody is a Biden supporter if you just went to college. So what are they teaching in this college? Are they teaching anything? Stuff like inclusivity and respecting other people, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, woke. Yeah, wokeness, yeah. yeah. Didn't Trump go to college? Didn't Trump go to college? Didn't didn't Trump children go to college? Do you have any familiarity with an acronym GAAP, G-A-A-P? Generally accepted accounting principles, yes. Okay. How did you become familiar with that acronym? Probably in Accounting 101 at Wharton. Okay. Um, what do they teach you about generally accepted accounting principles in Wharton? Uh, well, I'm not an accountant, but that they are generally accepted. Anything else? That's that's pretty much what I remember from accounting when I want. So. <laughs> Have you told me everything you know about GAP? <laughs> uh, basically, uh, you know, I, I, I'm sure I could come up with some creative uh, <laughs> stuff to kill time, but I'd be doing neither of us a favor in terms of educating ourselves. If you wear a MAGA hat, they 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 will they will tell you you have to be out of school. They will suspend you. They will change your grades. I have a friend whose grades were changed because she was a Trump supporter. At a public school. I say that again. At a, at a, at a, so they had their grades changed. I'm so sorry. There were people stalking behind me. Yeah, no. So you said that someone had their grades changed because of uh, the wearing a MAGA hat. Someone did have their grades changed. In fact, a great friend of mine from the great state of Florida, good governor Ron DeSantis, well supported by Trump, obviously, um, and they did have their grades changed in law school. I literally don't understand these people. They have no grounding at all as it pertains to factual information or why they support Trump, other than he's racist like them. What does make America great again mean? When was America last great? When he was in office. But we were so divided as a country. Uh, we that was started with Obama. Now Obama started that trash, putting it in there, racism, racism and all that. Ain't no racism. Everybody gets along, but the media, you know. But you're saying there's no racism? Uh, there's racism, but it's not as bad as they say it is. You know what I mean? Everybody respects each other. Isn't it easy for us to say as two white guys that the racism uh, yeah, isn't as bad? I, I deal with I, I'm... Yo, that ain't right. No, I, you don't need that nonsense. But uh, no, I, I have black friends. I have Puerto Rican friends. I get along with everybody. You know, yeah. it's not, I'm not, I, I'm not a, an entitleless white, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've, I've struggled all my life. You know what I mean? Just because of my skin color doesn't mean I'm a... No, I'm just saying to say that there's no racism or there is... Everybody gets along. You know what I mean? It started with Obama. You know, we he was the first black president, and then all of a sudden America's racist. Come on. How would he become president if it was a racist? I mean, America was racist, and then they had the Civil Rights Bill, and LBJ signed it, and that was supposed to be the end of it, too. So, I mean, it didn't start with President Obama, right? Yeah, yeah but LBJ was no good either. You know what I mean? Yeah, they killed, they killed Kennedy. LBJ killed Kennedy. Yeah, he got a part in it. Their comfortability in Trump relies in the fact that he is as racist or willing to do and say whatever they are on the extreme level that they are. And that's enough to win their vote forever. This video has to be the most telling of how and why people are anti-Trump and anti-Trump supporters. This person makes a mockery of what it means to be able to vote in the United States of America for the president, which who, which is the highest and most powerful office in the world, in the world, the world. And, and what we are listening to, the idea that these people out of their mouth can say Donald Trump is still the president, still the commander in chief. He did an executive order before, before he left office. If Donald Trump was still the commander in chief, then Americans' constitution and systems mean nothing. Also, why are they so angry about the election being stolen if Donald Trump is still the commander in chief? Why would Obama need to control Biden if, or if Donald Trump is still the commander in chief? Why is Biden living in the White House and Donald Trump running for re-election from his house if Donald Trump is still the commander in chief? There's no policy. And when asked and pushed, they have nothing to say except for Biden doesn't love the country. It's an embarrassment. He's destroying the country, even though the economy is doing better than it ever had, even though we are working through and bounce back from a pandemic in a way that was unmatched or has been unmatched globally. So I, I'm confused at what
people are talking about, about destroying this country, especially from people who support a person who invoked and invited people to kill his vice president, to stop him from being unelected to the office they say he still holds. This is America's democracy, or I should say it's America's hypocrisy. These people claim to be the highest of high when it comes to patriotism or patriots, yet they display the least patriotic behaviors of anyone in this country, and that's not hyperbole. There are studies that show that these people that support Donald Trump are more willing to overthrow democratic principles than any other folk in this country, and that is dastardly, and that is what MAGA is about, and that, my friend, is why the hell I would never vote for Donald Trump.